I am back in Toronto. I'm actually just sitting on my bed. I flew in last night. Thankfully, getting through like customs and the whole airport thing was very, very smooth and easy. Uh, I didn't get picked for testing or anything, which was so nice. It was all super, super quick. And then I came home. I pretty much went to bed at 9 p.m. And then I woke up at 3 a.m. No surprise. I've been awake since 3. Um, it's now getting closer to probably 3 p.m. I've been awake for like 12 hours. And I have just been chilling, watching some TV. I am in the middle of season two of Sweet Magnolias and I love that show. It's like a very sickly sweet TV show, but um, I love it. So been doing that and I've just been slowly pottering around and doing things. And this afternoon, I really need to get in and, you know, do my clothes washing, organize groceries, all that sort of stuff. Oh, I did my nails this morning. That's what I did. I've got purple on. I did my toes as well. We're going to have a reset day or maybe a reset day and a half because I'll probably do a little bit tomorrow morning as well. But I just need to clean. I have clean clothes up here that I didn't have time to put away before I left. So I need to do that. I need to clean the living room. I'm pack my suitcases, clean, organize, and get myself ready to get back into my Toronto life. I have one suitcase opened and I've started grabbing things out of it. I need to wash my clothes and I think I'm gonna have to wash all my clean clothes as well. It was so hot and muggy that at one point when I opened my suitcase, I think after getting back to Melbourne and I put my hand in between all of my clean clothes, they were wet. Like it was just so humid there. I think I should just wash everything. get home and I'm straight into dealing with fire alarms and issues and on that topic I put all of my furniture back last night and they were supposed to come and fix this corner while I was away I have no idea if it got fixed it definitely didn't get painted this has been going on for like nine weeks now or something ridiculous eight weeks it's been eight weeks it's been eight weeks since this whole thing went down I have no idea what is taking them so long to get this all sorted and figured out but I have so much clothes and stuff that I need to wash so I'm gonna get in and do that yeah, that is a massive pile of clothes. I'm going to sort through it all. Hopefully I can do it in two loads, you know, like whites, lights and darks or whatever, but it's time to start getting my wardrobe put back together. Oh my goodness, uh, it's hitting me. I am so tired. I just took a nap. What am I looking for? Clothing rack, because I'm gonna hang out my washing. I don't know what I did with it. I put it somewhere. Beats me, um, but I am so tired. I just had a nap. Uh, I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea. I'm still lost on where my clothing rack is. Where did I put it? Oh, I found it. It's against the window in the office. Took a, took a nap and I'm just about to hang out clothes. I am so tired. It's hitting me. I don't think I'm going to be able to stay awake for much longer. Maybe I'll be in bed by like six or seven. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to hang out all of this washing on the topic of hanging out my washing and whatnot. Um, I just want to say thank you for all the amazing comments on my last video. I read through every single one of them. I really appreciate it. I don't usually share a lot of personal stuff like that, but I feel like maybe I should because I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who are sort of on the same page or feel the same things that I do. But part of what I talked about was kind of like consumerism and sustainable living-ish, that sort of thing. And one of the reasons I hang out my clothes on a clothing rack is because it's better for them. That way you don't have to dry them in the dryer and then they last longer. And then also you don't use electricity. And that's just one of my ways that I like to try and be a little bit more conscious or better or contribute to the environment. So I'm gonna hang out all of these clothes and then I'm gonna go sleep and hopefully sleep for a lot longer than I did last night. It's the next day and I am feeling very well rested. I went to bed at 8 p.m., woke up at 4 a.m., which I actually really like that routine. So if it could just, you know, continue, that would be nice. I ended up ordering in some groceries this morning just because I don't feel like going to the supermarket right now. And I'm gonna go this afternoon because I really want fresh flowers, but um, I'm gonna do it later when I go and see Liz. But for now, I just picked up a few bits and pieces. Here are my groceries. I got some goat's cheese, some bacon, some carrot, a couple of avocados. I just realized they got the wrong thing. 
thing. This was supposed to be a mix of rocket and baby spinach, but they got just rocket. It's fine though. Uh, I got spring onions, some tomatoes. I also got some hoisin sauce because I felt like making rice paper rolls. I also had some rice cakes, an onion, some rice noodles, and then I also got a chicken as well. So I couldn't really figure out what else I was supposed to order. I did, my brain's not working. So I just got this and this will do for now. second suitcase out. This is the one with all of the extra home decor and shoes and clothes and stuff that I wanted to bring back with me from mom's. So I guess I probably should unpack this and start putting this away. I also have the little one that I need to empty as well. You know, go and put the books in the bookshelf and get my bags out of there, all that sort of stuff. Before I do that though, I really need to put on another load of washing. I've emptied the second suitcase. This is all of the home decor that I decided to bring back with me. I have no idea where to put it or what to do with it, except for the clock. I know exactly what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, but the washing machine just ended and I should go and get the clothes out. decided to make myself some rice paper rolls for lunch. So I've got my water, I've got the rice noodles soaking. I'm gonna put some of my rocket and then I have some chicken, some carrots. I actually wanted shredded carrots, but they didn't have any. So I said they could replace them with the chips cause I was like close enough. It's already cut up carrot and then some red onion. <laughs> I have not made rice paper rolls in the longest time. I feel like it's been over a year, but I have my hoisin sauce and I think this one's probably the neatest one. The other two are a bit messy, but I'll get used to it if I keep making them. And I definitely now realize how important it was to have shredded carrot instead of carrot chunks, but whatever, it's all gonna go down the same way. So I'm gonna eat this and then get back into organizing. Good morning, it is Wednesday. This is now turning into a three day reset with me, but honestly, no surprise. I've been so tired and I just haven't felt like trying to push myself to do it all in one day. So so my suitcases are all empty. I cleaned the rest of the kitchen and uh, put the dishwasher on this morning. So I do have to unpack it at some point, whether I do that this morning or not, I don't know. But I'm about to go to the supermarket because I want fresh flowers. I was meant to do it Monday, didn't happen. I was meant to do it yesterday, still didn't happen. So here we are. I'm gonna go and get fresh flowers and then I need to put on that last load of washing and then I'm going out this afternoon. So I might have to wrap this video up after that and I'll put it up for you guys and then I will see you like next week sometime. But anyway, we're going to the supermarket, so let's go. Okay, I just got back. I got my flowers. I literally didn't go to the supermarket for anything else. I also picked up uh, my mail, which is mostly junk mail. Yeah, that's not for me. Junk mail. I really need to put a sign in there. Oh my goodness. Good food. Is this good food? I think is one of those meal kits. I have four different five. Oh my God. That's such a waste of paper. Six, <laughs> seven, so many eight. Look, here's the eighth one. Ooh, I got some McDonald's coupons. Some Popeye's coupons. Um, exciting, but like, oh my God, good food. Wait, that's nine, 10. This is ridiculous. Is this for me? No, it's not for me. It might be the person that lived here before me. Anyway, I have to sort through all of this, which I'll do later. And good food needs to stop putting promotional things into people's letterboxes because that is ridiculous. Um, but anyway, I got some flowers. I ended up getting some tulips because I've been seeing tulips all over Instagram and Pinterest. I also got some baby's breath because that's like my favorite. I got um, orange tulips and then I also got some white ones. They're not quite open yet, but I'm so excited. I love fresh flowers. This is a nice piece of plastic. I'm gonna keep this and use it for presents or something. I know I'll get used out of this. Anyone else keep like packaging and wrappers and stuff? I feel like it's just extra stuff that you don't need, but I like it and I want to, and I'm getting confused where everything is, but I just, I, I've had to wrap presents and I just like to reuse gift bags and gift wrapping and stuff because 
then I don't have to worry about purchasing anything new and it's always there. So if you're wondering why I have them in different vases, I'm waiting for the tulips to open a little bit and then I actually want to film some like Instagram reels and TikToks and stuff with them. Um, to be honest, I don't know why I got the baby's breath. I just always get baby's breath to fill out like a bunch of flowers, but um, I don't know why I got it today. The tulips probably would have been fine on their own. Uh, but yeah, so I just figured I would put them into their own vases and in a, a little while, like a couple days or whenever they start to open a little bit more, then I can arrange them how I want them. So anyways, it's just nice. I love fresh flowers so much. This is honestly just ridiculous. I need to put a sign in my letterbox that says no junk mail because this is honestly so stupid. I really need to do this last lot of washing and then I'm pretty much all done from traveling. Okay, so I've spent the last hour putting away the clothes and stuff that I just showed you, but I'm also getting ready for this afternoon. I'm going away for the night and um, I've now made a delightful mess of clothes in my living room trying to figure out what it is I'm gonna pack for tonight. I also did my hair and put my hair extensions in. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them in, but um, yeah, I, I'm having a really hard time trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do right now. This is the mess I've made. I probably should fold all of this clothing and put it into my little suitcase. And then I guess I should probably leave. I don't know. <laughs> I have literally gone from unpacking and washing all my clothes to now repacking a suitcase. <laughs> Like I knew this was happening, but I don't know why I didn't really think about it. I've just been taking it one day at a time. I am staying very present and in that day and just not thinking of foot forward. And so now I'm being presented with, oh yeah, I have to pack another suitcase right now. Um, so I'm gonna finish packing and get ready, but I am gonna wrap this video up here. I'm sorry, it's not a very long one. And it might not even be that interesting, but I guess those are the few things that I like to do. When I feel like I need a reset, I always get my fresh flowers, do all of my clothes washing, and then I just clean. So hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.